Hey everyone, it's Eric here from my 525XL. Today is April 26th. Uh, just giving you a quick update on tank. Pardon my voice, just getting over about a COVID. Three of the four of us got it last week, so I'm just on the mend now. It uh, kind of really brings you down. But anyway, on the road to recovery. So uh, um, just thought I'd give a quick update on the tank. Um, still running the uh, skimmer on during the day and then off at night. And then the uh, carbon reactor on at night and off during the day. There has not been any fluctuation in my uh, tank parameters from what I posted, I think, last week. I think it was about six or seven days ago. My nitrates are consistently around uh, 22, 23. I haven't seen them go over 24. Uh, phosphates, however, are still registering zero. Um, still kind of surprised at that. I don't know if I'm going to dose phosphates or not. But I am going to continue with this. Um, I don't think I'll call it an experiment anymore. Uh, I'm going to continue with running the uh, skimmer on during the day and the carbon reactor at night. Uh, I, I don't see any adverse effects on the tank at all. The corals are fine. The fish are fine. Um, so I'm going to continue with that. I am noticing though that I'm getting some algae build up. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not. Um, some green algae build up. So uh, I even changed out the uh, reagent for the phosphate uh, on the Hanna checker just to see if maybe that was uh, too old or expired it wasn't still red zero so i'm going to test again tonight and see what it looks like but um i don't know i can notice a little bit of browning on the sand now too so uh i will probably scale back on the feeding a bit um i'm feeding twice a day uh half a sheet of nori for those two uh, rabbit fish during the day and then uh some brine shrimp with pellet food at night, half and half kind of thing. So I might scale back on that or maybe just less uh, less nori, although they eat it all. So uh, it just means they're probably going to create more waste. So, But other than that, I mean, my corals look pretty good. That Florida Accordia is just really blossoming out now. I'm really kind of shocked and surprised. Get out of the way, man. Um, so really happy with that. The uh, Favia is really um, starting to chunk out again. Zoa's up there. Uh, I think those are the Rastas. They're looking good. The Torch Coral's happy. Hard Coral's up there seem to be fine. Not a lot of growth except the one in the middle again. Uh, actually, the Bird's Nest in the front is starting to get some height to it too. The guy on the right, that's the Pistachio Coral. Um, really got a lot of color to it, but again, not much growth. So, And the Mushrooms and the Duncan is really... Uh, really doing well um, I'm still dosing potassium like I mentioned the last time so I am noticing a bit of difference uh, well a lot of difference in that pistachio coral has really picked up the green like I mentioned last week um, other than that I think everything's okay uh, finger leather is getting out of control again so I'm gonna have to trim that down I really want to take a big big chunk out of there um, I don't know if I'm gonna give it to an LFS or uh, I don't know yet uh, it's probably going to upset my clownfish because he's just host, been hosting that for, I don't know, two years. <laughs> so um, anyway, and then the uh, green leather coral is really starting to take up a lot of space too. So I need to trim all this down. I've only got so much volume in here. And uh, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, questions or comments, leave them down, low, down below. Sorry. Uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, what I've been... Um, posting with respect to this uh, little experiment I've been doing hasn't had any detrimental effects uh, appreciate all the comments you guys have provided so far anyway um, uh, always happy to hear from you guys and I appreciate the comments and suggestions so until we talk again <clears throat> hopefully I have more of a voice on the next video next week I uh, hope you guys are staying <laughs> safer than I am and uh, happy reefing